Hello, hello, Pokey fans. Welcome to Mr. Who Reviews, where today I'll be reviewing Pokemon Jurassic Wishmaker. This is the first movie for the third version of Pokemon, which those you that aren't fa fans of the game are Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. And Ruby and Sapphire having um, a remake being remade this year, I think it'd be good reviewing it. And also the first movie for the sixth no sixth season out of the anime called Pokemon Advanced. Um before I get to the movie I'd like to talk a little bit about like my talk on the anime with the two new characters that are coming with Ash and the team. The gym battles are good and gym leaders are interesting. And May, May is, a, is a little bit like Misty, like sort of tomboy but a little bit girly but she can take care of herself sometimes. You just get into troll now and again and just eat a lot for a skinny girl and just loves the food. And just a good character. Max has to be one of my favorite characters in the Pokemon fran anime franchise. He's just so fun to watch. Commenting on her on his sis sister doing like attacks or talk about something, and knows a lot about Pokemon that as anime and probably Brock don't even know. And just a good character I think. Just one of my favorites. The teams uh, Aqua and Magma you can guess what they want. Land C well they, they're okay but they just seem a little bit weak. Like Team Rocket wants world domination. They just want like parts. Put some turn more than some else but mm, yeah. Now to the movie. In the we at be like in the beginning of the movie we see the car the main male character fighting in the anime. Like this is the first time we see a character from the game in well not like the first main character we see in the game. You usually just see like a rival or something. And it's the first time they don't use the team, the opening team, for the anime. <laughs> so cool. I think I'm a little bit tired of them repeating the thing, the opening from Pokemon forever, but glad to say it. The bad guy in this butler. He's not like a stereotypical bad guy, he's a scientist and a magician. He tried making a clone of the legendary Pokemon Groudon, which is the mascot for the Ru Ruby game, and failed. Like he tried to make it for Team Magma, and you know, like he, but Groudon's part of Fire and Land, so, and he tried to get his revenge, or just prove him wrong, by getting the fossil of the Rossi and tried to use his power. When it awakens. But while he's doing a performance, Max hears Drossy in in his head. And him and Ash become part of Butter's show. I don't know why he left him there even though he didn't ask for any assistance, but whatever. And again Drossy is one of the legendary Pokemon the talks because it's a psychic. Now I don't think a uh, like a lot of legendaries the talk were psychic, but uh, whatever I think it's a sort of plot sometimes. The voice they do the same voice actor they use on the anime. Not a one. That you, like there, there are voice actors they usually use 
and a lot of animes and use them use one or some here but hmm. anyway uh, oh yeah this is the first one movie that doesn't have as as the title character they don't follow his story he don't see like his character growth right? and it's about the bond between Max and Jurassic, like their friendship and their sort of sibling sibling bond which is very good and I kind of like the scene where they mention Missy because Max is upset because he knows that it's only going to be with Jurassic only for a few more days and as far as it comes from like a big, big brother would like talking about this friend he misses but he knows that he always be friends with her in like some yeah he does say her I don't know why they think that anyway may and also may get this the uh, charm thing where you pull down the sides of it make a wish while the name comment is going across yeah that doesn't come up with a that doesn't do anything and there's a problem with this with in the problem in the, in this movie when they find out butler is bad and is a sitting Diane which is who is totally in love with him helps him get to Jurassic Wish and Jurassic's at bird place like he's supposed to go there Butler has his houndoom no not houndoom Mariana uh, put a tracking device on the camper van okay first of all how did you not choke on that it's the size of a like, golf ball or something, I can't remember. A second, he knows exactly where they're going. You just have to get there first, you idiot. You're smart enough to make a machine to the code resurrect a legendary Pokemon or, 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 or make a clone of the legendary Pokemon, but not smart enough to just know that you already know where they're going. Oy. Anyway, to get to Jurassic's birthplace and Butler captures Jurassic again. Oh yeah, and I've got to mention Jurassic can it is they say Jurassic can grant wishes but he just like teleport stuff, like make a wish to have candy and it just and it just takes take stuff from like the convenience store from the tent from the place. The car. I know that the, the legendaries and don't always have genders, but sometimes they do. And why give them a a girl voice if they don't have genders? They did it in a load of other or some of the other Pokemon movies or TV or some of the episodes and TV show. Anyway, he uses the same powered by Jirashi to resurrect or clone a Groudon but it goes a little wrong and it turns into the most feared thing in Pokemon history or one of the most feared things Kool-Aid Groudon I'm not kidding if, if does a man the Kool-Aid man mixed with Godzilla that what it is <laughs> And it has this, this vein thing where you can just suck it up and put it into a, a blood vessel. It's just... Ugh. Giving me the bad kind of shivers. Ugh. Anyway, when Diana... Or not Diana, Diana. Yes. When Diana gets sucked up into Kool-Aid ground on, Butler finally sees the error of his ways and tries to help set things right. And another stupid thing is they try to turn it off like for the Kool-Aid ground on cane, they try to turn off again like, Pikachu to suck the thing off. But instead of pulling the lever the other way. They really guys not cool. Like I would have expected as the body check it or something. But no, this is one of the movies that he doesn't do it. 
You did it inside other movies, and not here. These demands are be dumb, but they'll be both. Hey. Anyway, today is third. But and Diane decided to stay together in Drossy's third place. Oh yeah, and I forgot to say when before Drossy goes to sleep, he has the gang to sing him me me and Max's lullaby or just hum it, which I think is the song at the end of this. I'll we'll get to that in a minute. And he just goes to sleep. Some of them are good at home in it, but uh, I think May is the only one good at right. And as I said again, the Butler and Diane decided to stay together in Drossy's birthplace. And um, May realized that she forgot to make the last wish. I said it doesn't, it didn't matter, and um, that they make their own dream come true. Don't say that in front of Disney. The double hundred down like a rabbit dog. <sighs> Did he own Popon at this time, or was it Universal? I can't really remember that either. So, eh. And at the end, Max hears Rusty's voice saying that he'll, ne he'll, ne he'll or she will never forget him and to always be best friends. And they end, and the song is kind of good. Like, it's fine in. When it begins, but when it gets to the high notes, cover your ears. It will just burst your eardrum. So in the end, this was an alright start for the advanced series, but on the third generation games, but not great. The thing is the Pokemon Forever version. Or like Pokemon Forever. Just has a Deus, Deus Machina in it. Or Rauta. <laughs> it, it could have been worse. It could have just. I don't, I don't really know how it could have been worse, but it could have. <sighs> I give this a 4 out of 10. I hope to see you guys later.